push the pedal. Did a little something. There's nothing there. So we're gonna spin this clutch. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cart Smart TV. And today we are going to be working on a 98 club car gas model. Of course it's got the Kawasaki motor in it. Um, customer thought that it was a battery problem. Um, won't do anything at all. Uh, I think the solenoid might click. Uh, but that's what we're going to get into. So I'm going to dive right in. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do is get a check on the voltage meter here. So that's got good good battery voltage there. Now we just going to see what happens. When we push the pedal. Did a little something. There's nothing there. We're going to spin this clutch and see if pulling the <clears throat> starter generator pulley to a different spot on the armature gives us a different result. So let's done nothing there. Let's do it one more time. It's doing nothing there. Okay, so now to check to see if we've got voltage coming into the starter generator, I'm going to use my digital test probe. Uh, obviously, you can do this with a normal voltmeter as well, uh, just where I only have one set of hands. This is how I'm going to roll with it. Like I said, this is a digital voltmeter right here is your screen that's going to tell you uh, the voltage. And how it lights up there. Um, just fortunate to have one of these. And like I said, if you don't have one of these, you can use a, a standard voltmeter. But being that I only got one set of hands, this is how I'm going to test. So up there, well you can't see up there if there's no light. Now that we can see, that lug right there is where you're going to want to test what the voltage is coming into the starter generator. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so, so we see that we got voltage coming in but we're not getting anything out of the starter generator. So, I suspect one of two things. We either got a field problem or we have a brush problem. And it's hard to see from this angle but those brushes look awfully short 
and it's awfully dirty inside of there it's hard to see on the camera but um, I suspect we have a brush problem here but it could be worse uh, we could have a completely destroyed starter but anyhow guys stick with me because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this starter out of this cart and we're gonna get this thing opened up we're gonna check those brushes we're gonna clean it up then we're gonna do a bench test with it um, and see what happens to see if we need to put new brushes in it or if there's a field problem and it needs a new starter generator assembly on it so uh, just hang tight with us guys and we'll be back all right guys so I don't know if you can see that there but this is one of the rubber windows and this is full all right guys so I decided to dig a little deeper and uh, found that the armature is looking a little rough but I think we can get it cleaned up <clears throat> and I also wanted to show you guys the difference between um, good brush and a wore out brush and so <clears throat> here are the differences you can see right there where my finger is the mark on the new brush compared to the old brush okay so that's what you call your wear mark and it's obvious that these brushes have made it past slightly past the wear mark there so what I'm gonna do here is get this armature cleaned up I'm gonna get this end cap cleaned up good I'm gonna put all new brushes in it and then we're gonna bench test it so stick around alright guys so it's test time now we got our new brushes in you can see how much taller they are when they're brand new and fresh <clears throat> so let's see what happens all right well that is a good thing here um, so with the brushes being as bad as they were it was causing the development of all that dust and black mess to be building up inside the starter generator which could cause it to get a little hotter than normal but uh, yeah put a new set of brushes in it and we're back to going so let's get it back on the car and see what happens all right guys starter generators back in the cart let's see what happens here well I would say that that's a success got to tighten up that belt just a little bit more um, but there it is um, I guess I will say that <clears throat> sometimes because of how it looks doesn't mean that it's actually anything major uh, because this one had me pretty pretty psyched out about it being just tore up because of all the crap that I found inside of it and how much dust was built up but after seeing those brushes and how short they were it kind of you know brought a little light to the subject about just the brushes being in a bad way and um, you know we were pretty fortunate here to be able to just change out the brushes bench test it and get it to spin over and then put it in the golf cart and obviously guys you see it's working again so um, yeah hopefully hopefully this video helps you guys out um, Hopefully I entertained you a little bit as well. It's hot out here. And um, that's going to be a wrap for this golf cart, guys. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Comment. Share this stuff. Hit that bell for notifications for any of our new videos about to come out. 
And uh, once again, God bless you all.